Another thing that a command line can be used for is to troubleshoot connectivity and name resolution. And if you continue down a track to be a network engineer, you'll use these types of tools more and more. But for the A-plus test, there are certain commands that we should be familiar with. These commands are for troubleshooting network connectivity just to make sure that computers can talk to each other and to determine maybe why they can't if they can't. So we're going to take a look at tools like ping and ipconfig. Win ipconfig is not on the newer operating systems. Win ipconfig is only on Windows 95 and Windows 98 and is a graphical user interface tool that can be used to troubleshoot connectivity. You should just know that for the test that WinIPconfig is a tool that is no longer used in Windows XP or even Windows 2000 Professional. It was used with Windows 95 and Windows 98. Trace route is a tool that allows us to determine how far a signal is getting through a network. In other words, how far the packets are able to travel and what routers they're able to travel through. We're going to take a look at trace route. And then NSLOOKUP is for troubleshooting name resolution. It allows us to troubleshoot who's in charge of name resolution, which would be resolving IP addresses from host names. And we're not going to get into that much depth in this regard in regards to networking. We'll talk about networking more in another section. We're going to take a look at the NSLOOKUP tool as well. So we're going to take a look at some of these troubleshooting commands. Let's start off with ipconfig and then ping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press on a Windows key and then R and then type in CMD, press enter to get to a command line. And what I want to do is I want to find out on this Windows XP system what the IP address is that's assigned to this computer. So we're going to type ipconfig and then press enter. And the system comes back and it says, well, you've got an IP address of 192.168.1.10 on one of your network interface cards. And you've got an IP address that is from charter.com that is on your other network interface card. What I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this 192.168.1.10 address. We're not going to worry about the other network interface card because what I'm going to do is I'm going to ping another computer that is in my local network right here next to me. And when I say ping, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send some packets to it and see if they get to it and if it can reply back. So we're going to type ping, P-I-N-G, and then 192.168 dot one dot one o five that's the number of the IP address that is a computer that is right next to me right here in my network and then I'm going to press enter as you can see I get an instant reply it says well it took me less than one millisecond to reply back to you that yes that packet was able to make that trip over to the other computer so as you can see this type of connectivity test, even though I did it with a computer that was right next to me, you could do this with a computer that you can't see, that is within your building or even somewhere else in the world, and just find out whether you've got general connectivity to that computer. So for the test, what I would know is that ipconfig, I-P-C-O-N-F-I-G, and then press enter, allows us to see what the IP address is on the computer that you typed it on. And ping and then a host name or an IP address allows us to determine connectivity through a network and that's a tool that we use to test to see whether maybe it's uh, the computer, maybe it's a physical connection that's bad, maybe it's a logical connection, but ping is where we get started. Ping is a network tool that's used to test network connectivity. Those are the main things that I would know for the test.